I'm a member of the RTA Card Committee. I'm also a member of the Pima County Planning and Zoning Commission. I was the treasurer for the 2003 Citizens Transportation Initiative that called for a light rail uh, down Broadway uh, on a third of a cent uh, tax increase. Very, very modest tax increase to get an important part of the infrastructure bill. I am very concerned that the Broadway corridor project is going to turn into a project that happened with the Grant Road Improvement Project. We talk about context sensitive solutions, but in fact, some of the most important parts of the content planning context that we're in, in the context of the future, uh, have been ignored, and there's there's been a resistance to look at some fundamental issues. One uh, is energy, the cost of oil. The 2006 RTA plan was based on the assumption of $20 a barrel oil going on infinitely. That has dramatically changed, and we will, <laughs> and and we can see it in 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 demographic data, in modal shift. So what we need to do is reassess the functionality of of, of these projects. And to me, functionality means that the intent of the voters was to invest public resources in in a variety of infrastructure projects that would increase the mobility uh, of our community. And so we need to look at mobility as a unit of analysis, not expanding streets at an ungodly cost for cars that aren't even traveling. PAG's own data shows that from between 2005 and 2010, traffic counts have declined 20% on Grant Road. So why are we adding two lanes of car traffic on Grant Road? We'll never be able to support increased bus service or bus rapid transit or light rail or extensions of the trolley or some of the other modal infrastructures for bicycles and pedestrians if we continue to waste our money chasing dreams that have no basis in reality now and reality going forward. We have to acknowledge what's going on with the demographics of this country. Young people are fleeing cities like Tucson because we haven't woken up to some fundamental realities about good urban design because we've got examples all over the West. And if we deny this, we are going to be creating the biggest, biggest boondoggle that Tucson has ever and this is our last chance to actually do it right. And if we don't do it right, it's going to be a very sad story for Tucson's future. Thank you.